So last video, um, I installed a new shifter for the bike and um, got everything lined up the way the old one was, but lo and behold, this isn't quite right. Um, I have to, so upshifting, not really a big deal. Downshifting, I really have to raise my foot way up and uh, come down on the shifter and it's just not natural. And um, so I tried moving this between the two segments, um, the, uh, yeah, I guess they are segments. I moved it up and down and, and just couldn't get it lined up. It was either way too low or way too high. So this is, this is about as right as this can get. So that leaves this adjustment to be made. And um, I went ahead and, and loosened the two uh, lock nuts on the hum joint, the shifter linkage. And um, that used a 3 8 inch wrench open end uh, this is obviously a ratcheting combo wrench but um, that's what this took it would also be like a nine mil uh, although this fits exactly right so I'm assuming <laughs> this bike is a mixed bag this is kind of that transitional period when it was kind of like there was some metric and then there was some standard and it was just like you know uh, things have definitely changed um, so most stuff in the States is, uh, I can't even really say that. It's still mixed because lug nuts and things like that tend to be standard on like American trucks and stuff like that. So whatever, it, you know what? It's just what we do here. So, all right. Um, so anyways, I tried twisting this and I can't really see that this moves very freely. So what I was gonna do is, so this this is you know freshly locked, you know freshly t uh, torqued with new Loctite, new Loctite here. So this one is not. Now I was gonna take this guy loose and see if I can twist the Heim joints at all. And um, if not, that kind of sucks actually, because then I'll be stuck with where it's at. So again, I don't know. I haven't even read them in. I also like to live dangerously. Anyways, all right. And get this loose, just like last time. Not much effort at all. And I'm at the point now where I can just use the extension and the socket to pull it out. And uh, there we go, I'll clean that guy up too. Oops, not holding it right. Let's see if I can get this lined up for you guys. It'll focus. Anyways, so I'll get that cleaned up in a minute. Right now, I just wanna see if this turns at all. And holy cow, no. Um, there's definitely some, what appears to be some corrosion in there. So this may be, actually be one of those situations where I need to go to the owner's manual and go figure. So let me kind of fool around with it for a minute and um, go reference the uh, owner's manual and uh, and see, you know, I'll, I'll bring you right back. All right, so um, as you can see, I got it worked loose. I had a, a hunch that if I got a Phillips or something and uh, put in one of the Heim joints, and turned it instead of using, you know, just my hand, I get a little bit more mechanical advantage on it and it immediately broke loose. So yeah, so we are in business on this end. Um, and what I think needs to happen is that since it's too high and lengthening this rod would continue to increase the height of the shifter, um, I need to take this thread in and um, shorten the throw. So I'm going in about, what was that? Oh shoot, I lost count. Let me take it back out. I can see the, the marks where I have clean thread. So there's, there's the beginning of the clean thread. So one, two, three, Let's try three and see where we're at. I'll, uh, that may actually be 
way too low. That's actually quite a bit. That's more than a, more adjustment than I thought it would end up being. I'm trying to my the uh, screw has slid around inside my stool here. I'm gonna just thread this in finger tight so that um, I can take it loose pretty easy. I just want to stick my foot on the peg and work the shifter and see how we do. Let's see if that's. And of course, I put the, the bike up on the bike stand, so now it's unnaturally too high. That's a little too, too low, so I think I'm gonna go to maybe halfway point. Just see where I can go back at one and a half turns. So, that would be one and a half. Let's put that back on. Now let's check that out. That is actually not too bad. It doesn't feel bad at all. I think, I think I can deal with that. I've got the clutch in. Um, it's not really good to dry shift your bike, but you know, in this situation, I kind of have to, I have to do this. Otherwise, I'm gonna do a lot of stop and goes. That feels about right. Um, let me try one half turn. back the other way to raise it back up a little bit and see if that helps make it feel just right. So that would be, let's see, lengthening raises. So, all right, that's a half turn right there. So let's try that. And I appreciate you guys sticking with me on this video. Um, I know you have better things to do, like watching other YouTube channels, and not some dude playing with his motorcycle. All right. All right. Oh, I think I nailed it. I think that's, that feels really good. There's no, like, yeah, to come up to downshift, I do have to raise up a little bit. That's it's not unnatural like it was before. So I think, and to cope to upshift is dead simple. It's like a super. That's the minimal movement. That's what you want. You want you don't want to be distracted by something as simple as shifting your your transmission. So I think that's it. So what I'll do now is well, first let me lock down these these two nuts here and I didn't even have to adjust this one I might be able to get even more adjustment out of this top one like just kind of meet halfway but I don't know I don't think I need to I think I'm okay with where it's at you know granted it is longer here than it is there but I'm sorry That's I'm just fine. That's fine. Now, I'm boys, sorry. all the money is here. Come along, Howie. Sorry. And I just want to apologize so, to you so again and tell you so how I'm sorry I'm I am about sorry. the mistake. And Too if there's sorry. anything at all I can do for you, I'm please sorry. don't hesitate to ask. Sorry. Come along, Howie. Sorry. I'm sorry. Time for your lobotomy. Uh, all right, so let me uh, tighten those down. Oh, it'd help if I turn the right way. And again, like, like all this little stuff, you know, you want to go, you want to be somewhat gentle. It doesn't need to be like crazy tight. 
And you can see I'm using just the head of the wrench to apply torque. So, oops, wrong way again. They turn the opposite direction. Um, so it's kind of throwing me off. All right, let me uh, clean this up and we'll come back, put, put some Loctite on it. All right, so as you can see, turned out really nice and clean. And uh, what we're gonna do this time, is we're gonna put a skosh of thread locker on the uh, screw here and place it back in and rock and roll. And then we'll add uh, some torque with my calibrated wrist. A little stank on it real quick. And uh, just barely. Let me see, it's enough torque to turn the whole mechanism, the whole shifter linkage. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, so that's uh, that should be good to go. Um, I'll, uh, if anything changes, maybe we'll do a third video on this shifter, you know, and as we, as I kind of figure out what, um, what my foot likes and what my brain is and, you know, thinking needs to be there. It really is by feel. I mean, I don't know that there's an exact spec um, to adjusting all this. Maybe there is, I, I don't know. Um, I just know what feels right should be right in terms of the shifter. Um, Dave Moss, I think, does a number, and if you don't know who Dave Moss is, you need to know who Dave Moss is. Um, he does a number of you know, adjustments for ergonomic stuff like this, the shifter, the brakes, clutch, hand position, all those different things. So definitely check out his channel. I'll put a link down below for you guys. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's about it. I um, uh, appreciate you guys sticking with me. And uh, until next time, peace out and keep it between the ditches.